and your stimulus package update as of Monday, July 27th. And we have breaking news for you. The Republicans have now released their proposal for the next stimulus package. It is called the HEALS Act. This is short for the Health, Economic Assistance, Liability Protection, and Schools Act. Here are the major items within the HEALS Act. The second stimulus check. There is a second stimulus check. The stimulus check is for $1,200. Adult dependents will qualify in the second stimulus check for $500. The income levels will be the same as the previous stimulus package. You will receive the full amount of the second stimulus check if your income is under $75,000 and you're single, or if you are married and you have a combined income of under $150,000. If you are single and you have a dependent, you would receive the full amount of the second stimulus check if your income is under $112,500. If your income is over these amounts, your second stimulus check would be reduced. At a certain income level, your second stimulus check would be reduced to zero. The Democrats, they also support a second stimulus check, so this is definitely good news. Unemployment benefits. The Republican proposal calls for the extension of unemployment benefits for $200 a week for two months, so until the end of September. After those two months, the unemployment benefit calculation would be based on how much you are making. This method is called the income replacement method. The income replacement method would get your unemployment benefits up to 70% of your wages, up to $500 a week for the federal payment amounts. The Republicans, they do not want to extend unemployment benefits for the $600 a week because people were making more money being unemployed instead of working. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin said, it just wouldn't be fair to use taxpayer dollars to pay more people to pay more for people to sit at home than they would working. The Democrats, they prefer an extension of unemployment benefits for $600 a week. However, Democratic leaders, they have said that they are willing to co compromise on unemployment benefits if they get better terms for the second stimulus check and if the Republicans compromise on other areas of the stimulus package. For the SBA PPP loan money, the proposal wants to give a second round of PPP loan money that will be more targeted towards small businesses. The self-employed and small business owners would qualify for a second round of SBA PPP loan money if you have 300 or less employees and your sales decline by 50% or more. It also modifies qualifying expenses for PPP loan money. This most likely will not face much opposition from the Democrats as the PPP program experiences heavy bipartisan support. Liability protection. When it comes to liability protection, the Republicans want to shield businesses, schools, and medical personnel from frivolous lawsuits. These institutions would only be liable if they conduct gross negligence or intentional misconduct by pe putting people at risk for COVID-19. The Democrats, they're all already pushing back against this as they want these institutions to provide a higher degree of safety for the employees students, and patients. Included in the Republican proposal are a variety of tax deductions and tax credits, such as increasing the tax deduction for meals for the self-employed and small businesses to 100% instead of 50%. There would be worker retention tax credits, deductions for the purchase of PPE to protect employees, tax deductions for testing, tax credits for cleaning, tax deductions for protective equipment, or measures taken to protect customers. The Republican proposal would also have incentives to American manufacturers to produce PPP at home instead of outsourcing that or manufacturing it overseas. There will be healthcare funding for diagnostics, treat diagnostics treatment and future the future vaccine. The theme of this Republican stimulus package proposal is promoting jobs, health care, and kids. You need to please remember that this is just a Republican side of the proposal. This needs to be negotiated between the Republicans and the Democrats to create the final term 